though Jack pulls up on Pickle, hits him with a mean right hook, bro. The thing that's crazy to me, when Jack noticed that Punch did absolutely nothing, his first thought in his mind was like, yo, let me get them lips, man. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Bro, Baki got a season two, and this dude Pickle is a demon, bro. The first glimpse we see of this dude Pickle is him frozen in ice, giving a T-Rex a mean right hook. Bro, look at his face. Bro, just off that, I knew he was on demon time, bro. Now, if you didn't put two and two together, this dude Pickle is pretty much OP. And they thought it was a good idea to unthaw him. Why would you unthaw a man who can run the pockets of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, bro? Y'all already got Udro roaming the earth. <laughs> He's a human atomic bomb. And then y'all gonna go ahead and revive a man who's running the 15 with dinosaurs, bro. I gotta be stupid. Now look at this dude right here. Idiot. He was working late one night and he got a little peckish. Instead of being a normal human being and ordering some DoorDash, this man went and got himself some dinosaur meat. And you know what he did with that dinosaur meat? A dinosaur meat meal, bro. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all fun to get into the eight foot, 450 pound Paint Beast wants to eat too. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. Oh, gay ass oh, oh, my back. It's been 200 million years. This man wants to eat. Pickle was a dude who was scrapping with dinosaurs for an afternoon snack. Tell me why this dude grabbed the Glock from the drawer and then he shot Pickle three times point blank. The bro was like, my my fault OG, I ain't mean it. Bro got shot point blank and the bullets ain't even go through him, bro. Pickle was like, oh word? And just threw it back, bro. Oh, pause. And he threw the bullets back faster than a gun can even shoot him. But he ended up accidentally trapping Pickle in the room with the T-Rex so he can finally eat some food, yada, 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 right? That gave him enough time to run out the crib and then call the police. Then he was talking to the, the bootleg Einstein. He was like, all this police? For what? Oh, I almost died in there, professor. Pickle is alive. Surely you must provoke them to make him this angry. Listen, Professor. Pickle is built different. <laughs> oh, y'all done got him mad, bro. What in the world? And for no reason at all, the army general decided to walk over to him, strip down butt booty naked just to shake hands with him talking about you going to Japan. There was no reason for them to put a bunch of booty on my screen, bro. I didn't want to see that. Now we all know where this is going. Pickle's a new talk of the town. Everybody's gonna wanna find him, right? Now, before we get into that, we gotta talk about us real quick. When he was going to Japan, he was being escorted by these guards. And then this reporter decided to get a little too close. And let's just say she knows firsthand why where he got the name Pickle from. Did you pray today? Did you pray today? Cause no, if you did it, I'ma have to dig you down on some gangster shit. <clears throat> but uh so they ended up locking him they ended up locking him up with two guards watching him and bro is y'all is y'all serious y'all watch this dude one tap the hulk buster and y'all think two guards is going to stop him if he wanted to leave but if he wanted to leave he, he could leave bro okay but now look i know we talking about pickle but this dude you drill pulls put out something crazy and this man walks over to the army base where they were keeping Pickle out, right? And, like, and let me just say, there's like there's like eight other people doing the same thing, but this dude, Yudro, is different. He walks to the front gate with no care in the world. And one of the guards tried to stop him, but he uses his aura alone to make to knock him over, bro. Bro, I don't know what upgrade this dude got in between seasons, but I swear he, he looked more devious than he did before. Then all of a sudden, yo, the, guard, the guards get to boxing each other, bro. The one guard is sitting there beating, beating on himself, bro, beating himself up. And this dude's aura alone made them want to earn his forgiveness. They didn't even do nothing that needed forgiving, but that's how you know he's different. So Yudro pulls up to Pickle's cell, and this man simply walks through the glass. He simply walks through the glass. And then the glass snaps back like he ain't like it wasn't just broken, like he ain't just go through matter, like uh, like science. So Yudro and Pickle proceed to test each other's strength with a divine fist bump. The moment their fist touched, that junk started glistening, bro. After he tests his strength, he simply walks out like he like like he was meant to be there in the first place. And when he walks out, he was conf he was confronted by a soldier, and then the soldier was calling him sir. Um, bro, now we gotta get to Retsu, bro. This dude was the one feeding the fight pickle the most just to get embarrassed. And the Retsu was like, "Bucky, I'm in love. 
But Retsu, why is you telling me this? When I really want to fight a man, it's a lot like love. Baki, I gotta hold it. I gotta cradle it. Firmly grasp it. He's... He's zesty. So then Retsu pulls up on Pickle, and they get straight to boxing. But like, when they were fighting, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, bro. Like, he was actually putting that work in, bro. I'm like, he actually got the hands right now. Like, he just, he put Pickle on his derriere, bro. Like, he's, he's acting crazy. I actually thought he was putting that work in. He kicked him so many times in his head. Retsu was like, his, his brain gotta be mushed by now. Like, like, he even thought he was putting that work in, bro. Was, bro was talking about something. Ah, oh, such a bliss. Please don't let this be over already. Pickle was like, hey, yo. And then slapped him over his face, bro. And Pickle picks him up like a drumstick and takes a big chunk out of his shoulder. After this, Retsu was like, oh, he got one final attack left in him. And I was like, hold on. He might pull something out the duffel that can change everything, right? Not at all. This man put out the windmill deluxe. All his knowledge of kung fu just went out the window. A thousand years for what, bro? You're disgracing him. Even, even Pickle's already confused, but he didn't even know what was going on. And once Retsu got his head on straight, right? He started talking to like his inner self. He was like, hold on, I'm C King Retsu. I'm him. And he started getting his groove back and all that junk, right? Pick was like, oh, you kinda nice. Let me let me let me tune it up real quick. And this man got on all fours. And Retsu was like, this ain't nothing. All I gotta do is use my fist and put him down. And this dude entered the speed force and knocked him into a wall. And when you thought it couldn't get any worse. And the only time Pickle ever fights is when he wants to eat. And it was time for Pickle to collect his tax. That man took his entire leg. Lost his whole career. Because he wanted to fight the prehistoric menace. But even with that, Retsu wasn't the only one who got humbled. And this man, Katsume, Katsume something like that, the karate dude, right? He also wanted to smoke. Katsumi learned a whole super move in order to beat this dude. Now, once he was face to face with Pickle, he, he wasted no time. He wasted no time in playing that move off, bro. And for a second, I was like, hold on, Pickle actually looks like he's in pain. Like he's... But the thing is, right, using that super move comes with a cost. He didn't use it not only once, but he used it two more times after that. He had to sacrifice both hands and a foot just to knock him down. But look, but look at this, look at this. We seen this move earlier, bro. Pickles toot it up again. He launches himself towards Katsumi. But he had one last move he can use, right? A move that only he mastered. He turns his whole arm into a whip and hits Pickles super speed, sending him fine. But like, bro, bones are not flexible like a whip is, bro. His entire forearm is destroyed. It's gone. It's unrepairable. And he even went over, stood over Pickle, thinking the fight was over, put his arm up and everything, bro. And then he looks over at Pickle, and the dude is taking a nap. <laughs> the thing is, you gotta know about Pickle is he's more animal than human. So his mindset is like, attacking someone that weak, it, there's no point. He's, he already killed himself with doing all them super moves. That don't change nothing. The tax collector needs to collect his tax, bro. <laughs> took Katsumi's entire arm. That's the second career Pickle stole from somebody. But Pickle ain't done, cause then he ends up fighting Jack. Now this fight was probably the coolest fight, but the most AO. So Jack pulls up on Pickle, hits him with a mean right hook, bro. The thing that's crazy to me, when Jack noticed that punch did absolutely nothing, his first thought in his mind was like, yo, let me get them lips, man. Hey yo, what the fuck? I don't know, he tried to show his dominance, but reality jack is the one who got emasculated bro pickle started lifting jack off his feet while maintaining the lip to lip contact and started swinging around until his face literally got ripped off and this man jack done <laughs> lost it he gets up in his pickle with the cleanest shuriken. but even with that oh oh oh, 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 oh look pickles tooted up again he launches himself towards jack but jack pressed r2 and said reversal Threw him all the way into the bleachers, bro. And then Jack walks behind him, firmly grasps his skull, and slams his head into the chairs. So he puts him over his shoulder and tosses him back in the ring. I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking, I was thinking, yo, Jack kind of putting that not working. I'm, I'm thinking he can be, he can beat him, bro. It's like, bro, I ain't never seen Pickle get done like this before. I'm thinking Jack is him. And this dude bites Pickle's ear off and then spits it in his face. Mistake, mistake, mistake. 
Cause then he goes, he tries to throw another punch. Then it looked like, yo, Pickle just standing there. Like, why Pickle just standing there? Yeah, I'm thinking like, did he get mad enough to where he turned into a Dragon Ball character, bro? Bro, look out here looking like Cell. And it wasn't that Pickle was just tanking them hits, bro. That man was fast enough to move out the way last second, slingshot himself off the wall and back into the exact same spot. Then this dude Jack got hit with the most devastating combo I've seen. Hit him with the uppercut. Overhand. Oh nah, he ain't done. He ain't done yet though. Uppercut part two. Then hit him with a mean right hook to finish him, bro. And that put dude straight in the hospital. But then Jack pulls up again and he was already ready to scrap. This time, bro, he actually he had Pickle running from him. Because Pickle has never seen someone built like Jack before. And you gotta give Jack respect, bro. Because he was the only person to make Pickle look sorry. But look, that only lasted for a couple seconds. Because when Pickle realized that he's a prehistoric demon, he turned around and turned Jack into a human fidget spinner. As Uncle said, this is where Jack got the absolute worst thing that can ever happen to him, bro. Now he picks Jack up and brings him up to the top of the building and ties him to a pole. Oh, he ties him there so he can eat him for dinner later, bro. Oh, he's treating him like he's leftovers. And how Jack put the most work in but get done the worst. Now it was Baki versus Pickle. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm not even gonna bring this one up because Pickle would have lost if Baki didn't decide to be stupid and try to win off pure stamina. This new season was fire, bro. Pickle just built different, bro. That's all I gotta say, bro. Pickle, Pickle is a demon. Oh, damn.